On October 31st, 1517, a young monk named Martin Luther walked to the doors of the castle church in Wittenberg, Germany, and nailed 95 thoughts or theses to the church door. This sparked the Protestant Reformation. And it was really a reminder that God is always at work forming and reforming God's people. Throughout the Hebrew scriptures, God is at work forming and reforming the people. From Abraham and Sarah, to Moses and Miriam, to Deborah and Gideon, to Jeremiah and Isaiah, and in the New Testament, Peter and Paul. And then throughout the church's history, Benedict, Francis, Claire, Martin Luther, John Calvin, and John Knox. Throughout this entire sweep of history, we, on this Reformation Day, remember that life is not about us, but we are about life in God. And so we began worship on our Reformation Sunday with the words of the Nicene Creed, written in a time in which Christians were trying to agree on what held them together because there were so many beliefs swirling around. And the apostles who met together to write the Nicene Creed wrote these words. We believe in one God. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. We acknowledge one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and for the life of the world to come. As these early Christians came together in a period of crisis to write what they believed, a creed, a confession. So throughout time, Christians have come together to write about what we believe, our confessions in times of crisis. The most recent confession of the Presbyterian Church was written from the Reformed Church in South Africa in the 1980s, when Christians across South Africa could not agree. There were some Christians that used scripture to justify the oppressive regime of apartheid. And yet other Reformed Christians gathered together and wrote the Belhar Confession with these words. We believe that God has revealed himself as the one who wishes to bring about justice and true peace among people. That God calls the church to follow him in this. For God brings justice to the oppressed and gives bread to the hungry, that God wishes to teach the church to do what is good and to seek what is right. Friends, this week, may we do the good that is ours to do, and may we seek the right. For we remember, life is not about us, for we are about life in God. Peace be with you.